Hi everyone. Uh, today in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Casio FXCG50 for regression lines. So there are two types of regression lines, Y on X and X on Y. So we'll explore both one by one. So if you see on my screen, I have a question which is asking to find uh, the Pearson's coefficient and write down the equation of regression of Y on X. So in order to start this question, you can see there are games and points values are given. So we'll go to our Casio calculator and follow this menu button and you will find out there is a statistics option for you. So just select that and enter these numbers. So I'm going to enter very quickly. After entering these values in list 1 and list 2, okay, uh, we are going to see the correct options on this bar. You can see here tool, edit, delete. I don't want to delete. So if everything is okay, you can click on F6 so that you can actually see the correct option which we need. So the correct options are graph and calculate. So I'm going to use these words graph and calculate so you can see here it's on f1 and f2 so you can go to graph and before clicking on graph 1 graph 2 options go to settings so we have to make sure the x values is actually defined in list number one i know we entered correctly but we need to make sure the calculator is reading x values from list one so in order to do that, go to this button called F6 and here you will see uh, the graph we need is scatter plot because you have to see the points scattered on X and Y axis. Look at this, X list is actually list number one and Y list is list number two. Frequency, definitely we are not entering repeated numbers. So frequency must be one. So these are common settings which you have to make sure these are correct especially this one list one list two once it is okay click exit and then go to graph so you will see the scatter plot here right you, the points are scattered and now i want to calculate for the pearson's correlation coefficient to determine the strength so i'm going to click on calculate and it is actually linear regression so it's written here linear regression because regression line and you can select the option called x so it's on f2 and then uh, the way how you want to write your equation generally we follow ax plus b so the number a is multiplied with x and b is a constant like the y-intercept so i'm going to select f1 and here you see all of these values written AX plus B format. A is 4.8391, B is negative 3, and R is 0 0.957. So in order to answer part A, we will only pick the R value, which is 0 0.957, which is very close to 1. And it is demonstrating a very strong uh, strength or a correlation, you can say. And when you see the B part, write down the equation of regression of Y on X. So when we say Y on X, which means X was our independent variable, therefore it must be considered on the X axis. So that is something which you have to take care because in some questions, they will ask you X on Y. I'm going to cover in next question. Don't worry. So if you want to draw, you can click actually and draw the line and you can see here everything is there go to ax plus b if you want to see again and you'll find something like this so you can check what we did on calculator it was this one so that was our line negative sorry 4.84 minus 3.89 and r is 0 0.957 a very strong correlation so let, just to repeat uh, gdc open it go to statistics store x values in list one y in list two and then press f2 because we want to calculate 
or you can go for graph f3 for regression f1 because it is linear so i'm going to select x and then option one which is ax plus b so that was question number one how you get your two answers number one the pearson's correlation coefficient and second the regression line okay so pause this video try with one more question or just to repeat this question so that you get the same answer then i will show you the second question okay let's see there is another question on a similar category finding a coefficient of correlation and the regression line so if you see this question has both options for us to answer number one finding regression of y on x and x on y so that's the main target and in order to answer why do we need these two equations i will explain in part d and e here so let's just focus on this question and follow part a and b first so repeat the same process pause this video go and enter these values of maths and tok scores in your gdc as list one and list two so you can see i'm going on statistics and you can see i have already entered these values 4 6 9 11 12 15 18 etc and on list number two i have tok scores so uh, if you read very carefully actually uh, it's it will be mentioned in your uh, question as well that your maths must be on x-axis and tok on the y-axis generally it is mentioned in the ib so that's what i am assuming right now that maths is my x and tok is my y so in order to answer part a we will follow the same strategy so list one list two done go to just click on exit so that you can see this option graph calculate right and if you click on calculate or graph whichever option works for you f2 and go to settings you just need to make sure that your one variable list which is x is list number one and your y list is on list number two okay if you go to let me just show you one more time go to graph and then go to settings then you will see here a scatter graph x list one y list two so that's it it's it was all set go back click on graph one you will see the scatter plot calculate x f2 option and ax plus b so this is done what we have done here we have obtained equation of tok scores dependent on math scores right because x is on maths y is my tok in this case and my equation is if you see uh, here so i have a b and r value which is 0 0.7042 and a is 0 0.339 so you can easily write this equation as the way it is written so you have to pick a and substitute here times x plus b and b is 6.495 so what it does actually this is actually giving you tok scores dependent on maths so if you want to predict if you read d part find predicted tok score to the nearest whole number for a student who scores 16 in maths so what i have to do i'm going to click on draw and i want to evaluate for tok first first answer is yes can we find or not so the answer is yes i can find tok scores because tok is on my y-axis right so in order to do that you can actually go on shift and g solve you will have this option called y calculate so remember in a regression we can only calculate y values dependent values not independent so i am going to enter 16 here and here you go so i've got 11.93 so these are scores for maths 
sorry for t okay because i entered 16 in maths so when you when a student is scoring 16 in maths t okay can be predicted as 11.9 of course you can say 12 marks here so that was the purpose of finding part a y on x to answer d as well now i'm gonna help you to answer equation of x on y how to do that not a difficult at all just click exit you don't need to change anything in list one list two right what do you have to do now go to settings and switch these lists so now when i'm saying equation of x on y y is my independent so x list must be now tok scores so here when you see this option list one click on list f1 and enter the list which is your x now so now tok is my x so tok was entered in list number two so i'm going to enter two there done same you have to do in y so click on list and enter list number one that's it now nothing to do exit and graph calculate same thing x ax plus b remember calculate cannot show you x equals to a y plus b but that's how you have to write so you can see here let me show you the answers for this question so this was an ib exam and you can see here uh, first answer is the previous one 0 0.34 plus 6.5 and this one is 1.46 1.46 minus 3.84 look at that negative 3.84 i know calculator will give you y equals ax plus b but in your final answer you have to write as x equals 1.46 y minus that value the regression is not going to change the coefficient i mean uh, r r value is same 0 0.704 same here it doesn't matter you do which, which direction but it will help you to answer e now find the predicted math scores remember you can only predict for dependent variable right to the nearest whole number if the tok score is 9 so in now in this case as you remember i have entered tok on x originally it was on y but now it is on x so i can do that go draw repeat the same process shift g solve and calculate y for tok as 9 so tok as 9 and here you go so the student is going to get 9.3 marks for that particular test so you can see here 9 is it was 12 but if you see 8 4 and then here 9 12 so it will give you the approximation of getting math scores from tok so this was the example where they could ask you both math and tok interchanging with x and y let me show you one more example I'm so again age with time so if you see uh, what does the correlation coefficient suggest about the relationship so you can definitely talk about r values write down the equation of regression for y on x which means you are actually doing the same process without changing your lists so this will be as as your x and this is going to be your y and all done use your equation to predict time that would take 30 year old person to reach the proficiency giving your answer to the nearest r so look at that so the age is given 30 year old where is 30 on the x so if you see in the x axis you have it and you can answer it second the find the age of a person who would take eight hours giving your answer correct so of course you can use the equation but statistically this is actually inaccurate if you calculate that way now look at part d here find an estimation for the age using regression line of x on y so in this case you have to switch so age will go in y and time will go in x so the same process as i told you here 
you enter original x in list 1, list to y, but when you go to settings for d part, then you have to change these numbers, x list number 2, y list number 1. I hope this video will help you how you can actually uh, make sure you are getting the correct equation and how you are making the predictions based on those regression lines. Thank you.